605 is the time now the state is expected to announce today whether Riverside County will be forced to slip back into the most restrictive purple tier of reopening. This says the county has reported nearly 800 additional coronavirus cases since Friday. Now, if this happens, many local businesses and houses of worship would have to close their doors again. News Channel 3's Madison Wild is live in Laquise with more on how that decision will be made. Madison. Yeah, Jeff, well, we're in La Quinta this morning, but this is a decision that would impact people across the Coachella Valley. It was just last month when we were able to move from that purple most restrictive tier into the red tier. And when that happened, that provided a lot of relief for many of our valley businesses. When we made that shift, restaurants, retail, personal care services, museum and zoos were allowed to resume indoor operations with a limited capacity. Also, places of worship, movie theaters, gyms and fitness centers were allowed to open up on a limited basis indoors. If if today at noon the state announces our coronavirus metrics have worsened and we're no longer meeting the red tier requirements. Unfortunately, many of those businesses would have to close or move operations outdoors once again. If we do end up going to the purple tier, uh, there will be obviously some changes that our businesses will need to make the ones that have been allowed to open uh, resume indoor operations in the red tier but are not uh, do not have indoor operations during the purple tier would have 72 hours to adjust their operations. So how is that decision made? As we've reported to stay in the red tier, a county must report four to seven daily new cases per 100,000 people and a five to 8% positivity rate. Right now online, the county is showing that we have a 5.9 positivity rate, so we are meeting that requirement. It's our new daily case number that's problematic. Right now, Riverside County is reporting an adjusted 9.2 new cases per day per 100,000 residents, and that's a little too high to remain in the red tier. But again, no formal decision has been made. They say they're taking into account our, our testing numbers that are continually coming in. So that moment at noon, we're going to have live coverage for you then. But for now, live in La Quinta, Madison Wild News Channel 3. Okay, it's a big day. So many businesses uh, are going to certainly be watching this. And again, we will bring this to you. Uh, Dr. Mark Galley, the state's public health officer, set to announce that information at noon right here on News Channel 3.